Congratulations on your marriage. You're coming up on your first anniversary. So how is married life treating you? Oh my gosh. I honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. And yeah, I'm enjoying uh, the first year of marriage, which will be in November. So trying to figure out where we want to go for our anniversary. So I'm excited. Any major milestones in that first year that you've been like, wow? Uh, you know, on, I mean, nothing too crazy yet, but it's just, you know, the house and everything has just been such a pleasure to do with someone um, that I'm crazy about. So I know you, you've mentioned in the past that you love being married and you just said that again, but does it feel different now that you're husband and wife? Yes, it definitely feels different. It's, um, I would say that you just walk around with like security, you know, you just feel good. Life is good. Good. I mean, I can't complain. I can't wait to see uh, where the future goes with us. How did you know when Brett was the one and when did you know? Well, I don't know if you've seen him, but uh, I think pretty much as soon as I saw his face, I was like, that's him instantly. Um, I would say probably like our first date, I would, it was pretty dead on. Um, we didn't waste any time. Uh, he's in his mid thirties and uh, knew what he wanted as well. So it wasn't this like, I'm just not trying to date for fun or anything. It was more like, you know, we wanted a family and et cetera. So on social media, you have posted saying that he makes you a better version of yourself. I'm curious how <laughs> so. Well, you know, until I walk on Southern charm and then that kind of like goes out. <laughs> go. Um, you know, I would just say overall, like, he's such a good and kind person. So he makes me want to be better in that way. Um, and that's just something that I just try to improve on every single day. Yes, I'm human. Yes. Do I have a temper at times? Um, but with him, yeah, I don't, I don't have any of that. So I just try to be as chill and cool as possible. Are we going to see any of your newlywed bliss play out in Southern charm? Yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Is he going to be on the show or is it kind of going to be your perspective? Um, you'll see, he'll show face, um, but it's not going to be too much involved. Like he's not going to be doing interviews and coming to, you know, cast trips or anything like that. So we're going to keep that uh, separate. So. Your wedding was stunning. All the pictures looked amazing. Is there a memory that stands out for you that you feel like is so special from that day? Oh, I'm, that's so hard because like, I loved everything about it. I mean, even it rained on my wedding day and I didn't bother me. I thought it would, but it, I mean, it didn't even, um, phase me, but I did like a fireworks show at the very end. Um, and that was something that I kind of added on last minute and none of the guests or Brett or anyone knew. So that was something to kind of, um, to see everyone's face because I had an after party after. So once all the parents went to sleep and we were able to kind of have a little bit more, you know, cocktails, I guess you would say, we were like, I did the fireworks show and everybody was like, wait, what? This is insane. So I really liked that part. Um, obviously, first dance I was nervous about, but once we got out there, it was, yeah, great. They say rain on your wedding day is supposed to be good luck. So there you have it. <laughs> oh, I well, I made my sister like save a little bit of the water from the rain because a, you're supposed to wash your first child with the rainwater from your wedding and it's supposed to be like good luck. I'm like, this is going to give this baby the best hair ever. And my sister's like, what are you making me do? Like, but yeah, I you got to plan ahead, right? You got to plan ahead. It I'm seems planning. like, yeah, <laughs> it seems like your son played such an important role in your day too. How did you incorporate him in and was he so excited to be able to be part of it? Yes. I mean, you know, we joke about it all the time and he's always like, I want to go to another wedding because that was his first wedding he had ever been to. Um, and so I guess that was his first time uh, being able to dance and like do the whole thing. So he's ready. He's he loved it. Um, I told him there wasn't going to be any more weddings. So <laughs> that was that was it for for me, at least. <laughs> well, we got the big fireworks show, so I'm sure. He had an amazing time. But speaking of hair, you have fabulous hair. So let's talk a little bit about some of your tips and tricks. I know we're heading into the fall season. So we need some Madison beauty secrets. 
Okay. Well, I wish I could take full credit of all of this hair. I know yours is real because it just looks amazing. Um, <laughs> but I obviously a huge fan of hair extensions. Uh, Great Links is my go-to for that. I do think it is super important to um, whatever you're putting in your body, whether that be vitamins or if you're doing like we call it like oiling, which is like starting from the scalp and keeping that um, regrowth fresh is super important, especially going into like um, fall, everything tends to get a little drier. So, um, moisturizing, doing the whole thing. I'm a huge Orbe fan. I uh, love their products. And I think just making sure you're doing deep treatments on the hair is the main thing. You're a busy mom. So how do you keep your hair routine quick and easy? Um, well, I don't wash it as, as often, um, as I would like to. Um, so I probably go at least like three days without, and then, um, I'm about two days right now. So then you'll see me in a, like a ponytail the next day and then it'll be hair wash day. So I was watching some of your Instagram videos. I loved your five day plan. You had the day one, the blowout curls, you got it all figured out, right? <laughs> yes. And it actually works. So you go with the straight hair, then you go with the cur the waves and then you can go, you know, whatever else you want to do after that. I'm glad like a slick bun is working, uh, these days and is in trend because, um, that's what I do on like the fourth day if I have to. With your extensions, do you have to wash them every day or how do you kind of maintain those while keeping your own hair health? Um, yeah, not really. So you don't have to wash the extensions every day. Uh, it's like a keratin bond. So they're on just little individual uh, strands of your hair. Um, I just try to make sure that I moisturize, especially like right now we're at the beach house. So um I'm going to go jump in the ocean. So I've got all my little like, yeah, my little bag of um, hair stuff. So then I put it all in there and then I'm, I'm safe. I'm, I'm good to go. Do you like having the extensions for length and volume or what, you know, what has been your experience being able to have them in? Yeah. So I personally, I have good hair naturally. It's just not as thick as I'd like. Um, so I do it for mainly body um, and to add a little bit of length there. My hair normally is about to here. Um, so just to kind of give give it that. And plus these days, everybody's wearing them. So. Well, we know you're the hair expert, so we will trust <laughs> your advice, of course. And your hair looks fabulous always. <laughs> Thank you. Southern Charm, of course, premiering next month. We're getting really close. We just saw a new teaser release just a few days ago, actually. So what can fans expect from this season? Wow. Um, this is unlike any other season I have seen or been a part of. Uh, things get a little heated. I think a lot of people expected what's going to happen. And I know uh, the trailer, I was surprised how much um, was shown. Uh, yeah, it was, let's just say I ended up having a great time. I'm like celebrating like this, like my marriage could be maybe my like last hurrah or summer before I start trying to, you know, have a family. So I'm just like drinking Sauvignon Blanc like the whole time and just, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. I love the teaser was kind of like, Madison is watching it all unfold. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Lord, that was, that was, a. Uh, I don't know if it was my favorite look. My hair did look really good, though, that one curly one, um, so I'll take it. There you go. And in the preview, we saw that you were going to your doctor, talking about how your first pregnancy went. Is your personal journey going to be shown on this season, this time? Yeah, um, I mean, I have no problem you know, showing everybody what, what we have going on and what we're talking about and our plans are. So yeah, I think that, yeah, y'all see all that. I know you said that you're saving the water for the baby and you're talking about maybe expanding your family. Are you guys talking about taking that next step or are you just enjoying newlywed bliss right now? A little bit of both actually. So we talk about it obviously, but at the same time, I think that we're both just enjoying each other as well so we're like yeah like we're we're ready but then it's like you know right now like my son and his friend are out riding bikes and you know we can kind of get a little bit of a long time and you know that's going to go out the window uh when it's time so would you be ready to do it all again with the diapers and everything 
Mm, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, yeah, that's a hard part for me. Um, I like around like eight months. The first, everybody, like the very beginning is really tough. Um, but my situation the first time was, is definitely hopefully not going to be that way this round. And is there, I know you were kind of saying we're going to be seeing a different side of you this season. Do you think fans are going to be seeing a whole new Madison? Uh, yeah, a majority of the time. Um, so, I mean, now that like I'm a homeowner and I'm, I'm, you know, winning yard of the month, two months in a row and I'm cooking and I'm doing all these things. I think that people are going to be a little, you know, surprised and see that I do have that side of me that I'm now able to do and have someone that appreciates that. So. Okay, well, just a few days ago, your castmate chef was making headlines because one of the Real Housewives of New York, Bryn Whitfield, was saying that they were kind of DMing. So I'm curious your advice, any advice for her on potentially, you know, chatting it up, maybe dating one of your co-stars? I actually had talked to him um, because we were, we passed each other in interviews and I, we, we were talking about, some, I don't know, some girl or just, that he was talking to. And I told him, I was like, hey, the girl from um, New York, because I haven't watched it yet. I can't wait to watch it, though, because um, I love all their fashion sense. But I told him, I was like, you should go out with her. Like, she's really cute. And, like, I love all of her clothes. She's yeah. just very unique looking. Like, I, I like her hair. Every, yeah. I'm Yeah, she's stunning. Now, her taste in men, am I questioning Yes, but I'm the last one to talk because, I mean, we all know, you know, what I used to do. So <laughs> whatever makes them happy, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, she seems cute to me. So, Any, you know, big moments or big surprises that you can tease this season? Or are you falling into that rhythm of having just, you know, the ability to step back from the drama and watch it all unfold? Yeah, you know, I try to step back from the drama as much as possible. Um, of course, everyone knows that I'm going to say what we're all thinking. Uh, so I have that voice of opinion that I probably should uh, try to button up sometimes, but sometimes I just can't help myself because I'm like, what are we all doing here? Like, can elephant in the room? Um, so I do step out of the drama, uh, you know, and, and one of the, they're joking. They're like, oh, okay, Madison, with your words of wisdom, right? And I'm like, oh, dang, you know, I hate to come off like that. But it's just in my opinion, right? So. Well, that's why we love you. Thank you so much for your time today, too. It was great chatting with you. Yes, yeah, nice to chat with you. And I will hopefully see you soon.